Hello everybody, Dorian here, and welcome to another episode of Night in the Woods. So last we left off, um, uh, we had just done some sh done some shenanigans. Oh, we went to a ghostly uh, library right up on the ghost and stuff, and then uh, each one of my friends is going to take us out on a night to um, kind of research the ghost that we believe is kidnapping people. Um, and now it's Betty time, which means there'll probably be another dream week dream sequence right here. Yep, surprise, surprise. These things are getting taller now that I notice it. Wonder what they actually are though. And all the locations at the dreams are a lot. Well, okay, all right. Now I'm underwater. Is that what this is? Oh man, they're getting way more trippy. They're getting more and more dreamlike as each dream begins. All right. And they're becoming harder to, to solve, I think. All right, so we're gonna do what I think is a smart idea and just go from one end to the other and see what we find naturally. And then we'll go hunt down the other two. See, cause we already found one. And it looks like there's less lights of those street lamps to guide us uh, this time around too. So I wonder if that is something. Let's drop down see what's down here. Okay. I love like the music though. Oh, see, found another one. How clever am I? Apparently not clever enough because it's not, okay, there we go. All right, so we've got two down already. It's a pretty good pace. All right, uh, I don't think we want to go up quite yet. Let's see what else is down here and then we'll go back up uh, in a moment. Uh, I think there should be, I'm gonna guess there should be one all the way on this side. No? All right, I guess I was wrong. All right, let's triple jump at least. Hello. We'll run up here. Cause this seems to lead the same direction that was leading. Okay, it's right over there. You can tell by the light. All right, there we go. All right, so that's the uh, third one. All right, we have to get up there. Cause that's how we're gonna get to the next one, I bet. So if we run along this way. There we go. This seems a little too intricate to, intricate to be nothing. Right, and that's connecting. Oh, and I fall to nothing? Oh, great. Send me all the way back here. Cause that's, that's where I want it to be. Okay, there we go. Oh, it better be up here. I'm gonna be, there it is. Oh, okay. Oh, we made it. This kind of sounds like Numa Numa. It's like my uh, he, my uh, who. My he, my ha ha. All right, and then we have to go back down now. Oh, come on. There we go. Uh, I don't remember where the beginning was. That's the only problem here. Uh, is it this way? Does anyone remember where we started? I don't think it was down here. All right, we gotta be close, right? Is it over here? Yes, okay, cool, we found it. All right. What's it gonna be this time? Oh, a giant crane, just catching ghost fish out of the sky. All right. Okay, that's wild, that's a wild sight. All right, hello ghost crane. Machine, machiney ghost crane thing. And now it's morning, I think. Should be. Okay, all right. That was a, a trippy dream. All these dreams are really trippy. All right, wake up. Put on your booties. There you go. 
Um, can we look in the mirror? Only that one time. All right. I check every morning, but... All right, let's see what we have for dialogue. I think this is where we pick who we go with today, right? Last night inspired me. For the longest night, I'm getting you a library card. You're welcome. All right. Good, my mouth takes wear this morning like a tire. I'll be at work trying to wash it out with whatever is the cooler. Away message. Planets are not pit <laughs> to be pitied as they cannot know how big and cool they are. Dr. Kathleen Coughlin, National Astronomy Agency. Hi. Cool, bro. Thanks for, thanks for that notice. Angus, you damn hipster, you. All right. Let's keep going. See what mom has to say this morning. Also, let's look at the bird like every other day. Hey, bird. Hello. Sorry, I'm always rude to you. Aw, that's sweet of you. Sweet of you not to be a dick this this morning. Let's see, she's probably in here. Yep, yep, like every morning. Morning, sunshine. You feeling okay? You look a little limp. Gross. Yeah, uh, weird dreams, weird night. You say weird a lot. Well, you know, was chasing a ghost who I watched kidnap a person and then dreamed about a giant crane in the sky eating birds from space. Just being honest. You taking headache medication? They're in the bathroom cabinet. Yeah, I am. They're kind of working, kind of not. Well, maybe you need more sleep. I mean, more than 10 hours or so you get already. You always been my sleepy girl. Ugh, that's a sign of depression. What did you do last night? Went to the library with Bay. That sounds nice. It was. Weird. Interesting. Okay, gotta go. Be safe, hun. Take it easy. Really do look a little tired. Getting out makes me feel better. Ghost hunting helps with the depression. Killing ghosts and whatnot. Maybe it's a good day to get out for sure. I'll let you know. Okay, how many times can you guys say bye? All right. This loading stream seems to be taking longer and longer every day. Oh, okay. On to the trash can, cause it looks fun to jump on stuff. La da da da, yeah. That was my, that was my jumping on, on mailboxes song. I don't need to talk to you, you stupid poet. All right, we're gonna go feed our trash rats right now. So we're gonna stop by the subway, grab a pretzel, steal a pretzel, and then we're gonna go feed the rats. See how many there are this time, I bet there'll be four. And then we'll go to, we'll go to Greg and see if he'll do stuff with us. We'll go to the graveyard another day. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, oh, yeah, you almost saw me, but you didn't actually see me, did you? Did ya? I'm getting better at this. Look how fast I'm going. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh yeah, in my pocket. In my pocket. Oh, oh. Just about there, we're just about there. Even if he did see, I would just shove it in there anyways. Okay. Oh, it pulls out slightly, because my arm's elastic or something. Okay. Onward to the rats. The rats that we shall feed. Can I jump on that? No, okay. All right. There's a lot of things to read here that I don't care about reading all the time. Actually, let's stop by the church, see if there's anything different there. Actually, let's not, let's, let's just go back up here. Okay, this should be where the rats are, right? Right here? Yeah, cool. I wish I could just jump straight up. Save so much time getting to my precious rats. Though that dog is very cute every time he jumps up there. He's crazy looking, but cute. Whoop, 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 whoop. Let me grab the damn thing. All right, there we go. Inside, inside we go. Uh, plastic flowers are like super depressing for some reason. Cause you're depressed. That's, that's why they're depressing. Dead flowers are less depressing than plastic ones. God, you're so, you're so fucking edgy. Like edgy enough that I'm like, damn, that's edgy. All right, my little miracle rats, time to eat. 
Is it still just three of them? Ah oh, I knew there would be four this time. No, no. Let me catch you. Let me catch you. There you go. Wow, there's so many of you. Someday you won't need me anymore, and you'll leave. I'll even recognize you on the street as we pass each other. You miracle rats. I love you, miracle rats. That's so cute. But even though you're creating a giant swarm of rats that are one day gonna infest this entire town, hunting for pretzels, they're gonna kill that pretzel man. I'll keep you a secret, Mallard, but I'll visit. Mainly for the rats, but kind of for you too sometimes, occasionally. Oh, oh yeah, right, there's a door right there that we can't go in. Um, let's see what Greg's up to. Maybe he'll want to do ghost stuff tonight. Maybe he'll do ghost stuff tonight, unless we're forced to do stuff with Bay first. I'm not quite sure, but I think we might have a choice. We've had some choices before on which one we went and hung out with, and I feel like last last episode was very Bay heavy, so this one I think <laughs> that raccoon baby looks just like her. I feel like today we could have a Greg heavy episode. I like Greg, he's my favorite. If every episode could be a Greg episode, every episode would be a Greg episode. All right, there's video outpost. We're just gonna skip that. We don't need to talk to Angus. We never talk to Angus. That cat is like gliding across the floor. It's pretty cool looking. Um, and Sack Falcon, there we go. Let's see what's up with Gregory. Greg the Egg. What's up, kid? Uh, how's it snacking, Falcon? Just kicking it. Drank too much chocolate milk. Yeah, you know, throwing up. When the light bulb delivery came, I had to sign for it while puking. That's fucking gross. Jeez, you okay, man? Yeah, I'm good. Just flew too close to the sun. The chocolate milk is shown. So what's up? Uh, you up for smashing some light bulbs? Dude, you want to check out the historical society? Rock on, dude! I'm just gonna leave work right now. I'm not even gonna bother going to work. Uh, the historical society. So yeah, so we can we can do the graveyard next episode or whatever. Um, this one looks pretty cool. Sorry we crashed. It's okay. I'm getting used to it. Is your bike okay? Yeah, I can fix it. I'm I'm handy. Too bad you didn't get run over. It's too bad you didn't crash into a train. It's too bad your corpse didn't get even by scavengers. It's too bad you didn't get even by scavengers alive. <laughs> Good one. Uh, so that's it, huh? Yep. Never been out here before. Me neither. Oh, uh, I thought you had a plan. Who needs a plan? We're just gonna break into the old house. Crimes? Yep. It looks kind of, uh, exactly like a haunted house. Yeah. Like the one in that old movie. Like the one in the cover of that book. I'm going to say old movie. Because that actually reminds me of old movie style house. Figure in the hall. Ah, tactile. Yeah, I know. I know. Big old house. This place looks exactly like it. Well, you're working for a ghost, right? Yeah. Well, whoever this is, maybe we'll get some info here. It's not like a person, dog, it's a ghost. Huh. Right, well. Let's go find us a ghost. Let's go find that ghost, guys. You okay? Hurt my knee falling off the bike. Really looking forward to all the stairs we're gonna have to climb in here. Since we always get stuck climbing stairs, Greg. All right, well. So we're in the basement. So where are we actually looking for, by the way? The thing I read said sometimes when someone stays late, they hear weird things. Something called the map room, and in some off-limits area. Technically, all of this is off-limits right now. True, dude, true. But you know what I mean, man. Stop fucking with me, Greg. Dude, that's like two elevators, and not like old ones, locked, too. Jeez, maybe this place is all elevators. Wait, why would you have two? One for the ghosts, one for the normies. Private rooftop ghost parties? With a ghost pool. I hope you get swished by the elevator. I hope your head gets stuck in the door. And gets chopped off. I hope you fall down an elevator shaft. Can't do the voices well today. I hope you get trapped in a dark elevator filled with water and an angry shark. Holy crap, dude. That's uh, very specific. Uh, there's probably one elevator to go up and one elevator to go down, I'm guessing. 
Okay, here we go. Into the house. Looks pretty empty. Roxanne! I only need to turn out the red light. And dark. Hey, where's your flashlight? Ah, crap. I totally forgot about that. I, uh, dropped it when we fell off the bike. Dude. Shut up, man. Alright, well. I guess I did. I was the one who dropped the bike, so I guess I can't really complain. I can see, okay. Me too, let's look around. There are animals, you, you can see in the dark. I'll have night vision, at least, at least May should be able to see in the dark pretty well. Spiral staircase, yep, that's what that is. Closed for insurance purposes. Caution, stairs not for climbing. These stairs are original to the house and are not functional at this time. What the hell are non-functioning stairs? So we're we just supposed to like, levitate? Uh, I think it means that they're gonna break if you try to climb them. So how about you, you worry about the elevator? Oh, oi, check it out, mate. Elevator number three. Looks like it's not locked either. Elevators for miles, dude. Yeah, this is weird. This is kind of weird. That's one one more elevator than the other, and that's a very bright light. A very bright light. I don't like how bright that light is. All right, what are you staring at? You gonna go? Are you gonna go? Why do I have to go first? It's your ghost. All right, fine, fine, fine. It's not even real. What? Dude, our... The fuck was that noise? What the hell was that? I don't know, man. Is someone here? No, lights locked, doors locked, no cars inside. All right, so do you wanna go back? Do you have your knife? Yeah. Okay. Is it made out of iron? And do you have any salt on you? Wait, is the assumption that I'm gonna stab someone? Is that the plan now? No, I mean just in case, you know. I mean, I mean, I mean, the basement door locked behind us. Oh, right, crap. Gonna have to find another way out too. Hold on, let me add that to the list. The map room, forbidden zone, find a way out. This is complicated. Like every horror game I play, crimes, crimes. Crimes against the ghost, though. Not the best crimes to commit. You know. Alright, what's this? This is... Newspaper clippings? Oh, hey! Possum Massacre. Ah, oh, nice! You remember this, right? Not sure... Not super well. Yeah, there was this big explosion at one of the old mines, and it could have been avoided or something, and then the miners went on strike because they were getting screwed and killed. And, like, it went on... A while and the other mines and places joined up like to be like you mess with a lot of us that's awesome yeah the bosses and the governor they sent in like soldiers and stuff because they're assholes and some kid or something threw a rock at one of them and this order's like open fired holy crap dude that's crazy where did this happen northwest end of town there's like a marker for it huh that's awful bosses and bad bosses are bad Weird how, like, we're all supposed to look up to, like, bosses, just in general, like, even bad ones. Yeah, I refuse. Is that why you ditch Snack Falcon all the time? Extremely ditto. All right, is there anything else in this room? Nope. All right, so let's run back. Those are the same newspaper clippings we saw at the library. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, nothing weird here. Educational, even. I feel like we're getting smarter. My brain's too huge as it is, dude. Gonna poop. Pop! Wow. Even if that happens, I'm leaving you your helpless, headless corpse here. Hey! <laughs> Don't be so freaked out in the morning. Nice. Oh, Ronald. I'm gonna open this room of the day. Ah! I say this cop's brain appears to have burst! Bring in the mop, won't you, Ronald? Um, anyways, like I was trying to say before, I was so rudely interrupted! Uh, so it seems like a lot of the plot of this game has to do with that massacre, that boy dying. If there is a ghost, it's probably that boy. If there's not a ghost, it's somebody tied to that boy in some way. Holy like, crap, is that elevator number four? Cow, why? Granddad would be complaining about local tax dollars right now. Oh, that's an ominous sound. Ugh, that is not cool. Maybe it's like... Someone left a phone here, and that's a giant super echo? No, I don't think that's how phones work, May. Probably, yeah. Probably. Probably. Crimes. Crimes. 
All right, well, go back, go back up that elevator, whatever. All right, I am hungry. Are you guys hungry? You should get food. I should get food. We should all eat food. You're kidding me. Elevator number five. How many fucking elevators are there? Now I'm starting to wonder. Hmm. Locked. I think this is as high as we're gonna go without picking some locks, so. Ah, crap. You're kidding me. Drop the lock, pick stuff when we crash the bike. You're kidding me. You crashed the bike. Son of a bitch. Okay, sorry. Can you, like, improvise? I uh, need some pliers. And you gotta have a paper clip. Uh, no, who's walking around Earth Day carrying a paper clip? Got by. It's like, okay, so we just gotta get this straight now. Shoot. Map room for bin zone. Find a way out. Find pliers. Find paper clip. I can got shit. This is so stupid. This is like all work. This is all work. And there's a ghost sound coming from over there. Did you hear that? Yep. Didn't sound like a person. Yeah, I don't know what that was. Okay, well, let's hurry. Get the fuck out of here. Poor favor. This is a creepy room. Oh, hey, it's my neighborhood. And the highway. Nope. And Panther, though. Must be odd. It's an old map. Oh, wait. We're in the map room. Let's be extra careful. Okay. Crimes. Crimes. All right. There's the graveyard. And the building we're in right now. Spooky. Like we're being watched. Oh, I need a breath. It's all dialogue. They talk a lot. Okay. What are they going to say to this one? Hey, it's my neighborhood. Wow, well, there's a tiny you in there, I bet. Whoa, that's... Sorry. That, like, made me dizzy. I'm dangerous. Good old town century. Town century. The center of our town. Quite. Oh, I think that's the old food donkey. And the woods your ghost guy ran into. Yep. Shark that's around for a dead guy. That he does. Speaking of which... Oh, hey! That's not weird at all. Train just starting on its own and... Is this an interactive exhibit or something? This feels interactive. Is that the church? I think that's the church, isn't it? Oh, something just broke. All right, cool. Great. Ah, that creepy noise again. In this room. Oh, hey! What's up? Are you a person or are you a robot? Okay, you're definitely a robot. Ah, oh, it's alive! Gee, that thing is ugly. Well, that was the source of the noise, I guess. Mystery solved. Wait, no. If it was making that noise, that means that someone was in here while we were walking around. Oh, shit. Okay, yeah, let, let's maybe go. No, we have to find stuff. Oh, stuff? Dude, we're gonna get tasered or something by a big, bulking, uh, historical society employee? Whatever, I'm blaming you if this goes bad. Fine, fine! There should be pliers in that toolkit. I'm sorry, dude. Me too. I'd never turn you in. Me either. Crimes, crimes, we get it, crimes. Jesus fucking Christ. Hey, check it out, toolbox. Repair guy must have left you for the night halfway through filming him, fixing him. Hey, hey, some pliers. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. I was thinking we'd never find them and just like starve in here. Sure. There'll be people here in the morning. All oh, right. So we need a paper clip. I'm sure there's a paper clip somewhere in this place. Probably have like an office or something. Probably was like nine elevators in it. Okay. Did we get the pliers though? We did? Okay, cool. I'm guessing we got the pliers. While he runs, I jump. Okay. Now we have to find this fucking office though, and I don't know where that would be. Because this elevator is locked, so we have to go down. Paper clip's probably one floor below this floor, because I think this gave us a down option, didn't it? So yeah, it did give us a down option. So up is for the pliers, down is for the paper clip. Makes sense. <sighs> Other people go on weird ghost hunting adventures and they're looking for like cool shit. Okay, well, 
Yeah, let's find a paperclip. Donut wolf recipe. Ride that chariot, Nancy. What? Big ass stapler, but not a paperclip. Picture of some dang kids. It's probably all the way to the left. It's the last one. Phone charger. Found one. Oh, shit, it's right there. All right, so we got the stuff. Let's get that elevator open and see what's upstairs. I'm gonna guess it's like 12 more elevators. Good guess, May. good guess. Can we just go up two floors? No? Even though the elevator goes up another floor on its own? It's not a thing we could do. Ride it for two floors. All right, let's lock pick this elevator, because that's a thing. All right, we ready to go? Yeah, for sure. Gonna get to work. I'm gonna, like, break out of county jail someday with these skills. Dude, what are you going to county jail for? Probably something like this, honestly. <laughs> Good fucking point, Greg. Good fucking point. Uh, dude, you need to hurry. What? Someone's coming. They're in the hallway downstairs. Crap, okay. I'll have it done in a second. Uh, they're in the elevator, dude. Dude, they're in the elevator. Shit, shit, shit. Hurry. Here, I got it. Go. It's probably Aunt Molly or some stupid shit like that. It's gonna bitch at us. Great, we went down. We wanted to go up. Holy shit, are we in the basement? Go. Oh, okay. Oh, hey, that's where the elevator goes. This elevator? Yeah, so... This doesn't make a lot of sense. Maybe like this elevator is for loading things for the map room and like they use the other one to avoid the stairs. But even then, dude, none of this makes sense. All right, well, let's, let's, is that a doorbell? Doesn't, doesn't look like whatever that is, is following us down here. Whatever, not whoever, whoever. Are you coming around to this ghost thing? Ghosts don't use elevators. Why? So a ghost can walk upstairs or something? But elevators are out of the question. So the question I have is, where does that one go? Probably to the roof. Okay. Crimes. 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 We get it. Get in the elevator. Okay. Just gotta pick this in the dark. Geez, sorry. Yes, so I... Shit. I'm gonna keep picking. You see if we can get out through the back. Um, I don't know. Nope. Looks locked to me. We are so fucked screwed. I'm working, I'm working. Well, work faster, dude. It's locked. Something's locked in it. It's fine. We can't go back upstairs. Actually, no. We're just going to get chased around in a circle by whatever it is. Whoever it is. Dude. And got it. We don't know where this is going to go. Got any better ideas? Dude, clearly I don't. Let's just get in the elevator. For whoever or whatever it is finds us. All right, we went pretty far up. They all have an elevator that goes from the basement to the attic with no stops in between. What the actual crap? Quick, let's find a way out. Is that what we're doing now? We're just trying to escape. We're not trying to find anything else. I found a window. I think there's a fire escape. Window doesn't open though. So break it. So break the fucking window. Don't know what that was, but I didn't like it. And I don't like what that is either. Oh my God, what is this place? Forbidden zone. Are they starting like a weird art museum? This is bad art. This is weird. It's art, dude. What the fuck? No, this is familiar. How do I know this? Is it from a dream of yours? Shit, dude! Get over here! Why do I know this painting? Yeah, come on! Broke the broke the window. Yeah, it's coming back up. Uh, fuck. All right, but was that from a dream sequence? I can't remember. Carry. Yeah, yeah, I'm hurrying, I'm hurrying, I'm hurrying. Let's get the fuck out of here before they find us and try to kill us. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's not scary at all. 
just kidding. That is pretty scary. I was lying the whole time. Greg? Where did you go, Greg? The exceptional ended. You gotta jump! Alright. Seems like a pretty far jump. Probably gonna break both my legs doing so, but... Oh, fuck. You believe me now? I believe we almost got caught by security guard or something. No, I'm telling you, I can, like, feel it. Okay, fine. Go, go, security guard. Sorry about all this. You crashed your bike, broke through a window, and jumped off a fire escape. Yeah, dude, what's nothing? Adventures in crime. You're a really good friend, Greg. Crimes. Crimes. They want to commit crimes so bad. So fucking bad, I don't get it. Oh. Hey, Dad, what's low, bro? Hey, Dad. Hey, you. You okay? Yeah, weird night. You look really worn out. Yeah. Jeez, I'm sore at night. I need a back brace or something. How do you do it? Do what? Always running and jumping around all crazy. I don't know. I mean, I'm really out of shape. I don't think I've ever been in shape. I'm kind of shaped like a potato. Potatoes are shape! I used to be, but that was because of my job. New job doesn't require much like that. Yeah. All right. Go to bed, you. Will do. All right. Night, night. All right. Let's see what's up here. Ah, ah. Mustache gets in the way sometimes. All right, let's see what's on the computer. Um, all right, let's see what Bay's up to. Hey, Bay, you awake? I very much am. Doing bills and eating a grilled cheese. What's up? Went to the historical society today. Oh, how was that? Uh, we definitely were chased around by a ghost. Really? Hold on, I'm texting Greg to confirm this. Why do you need to confirm it? Don't you trust me? Sorry, I need a second opinion. What's he gonna say? Greg says it's probably a janitor or something. Ah! Okay, I'm going to bed. Don't go to sleep angry, you'll have bad dreams. Explain so much. Good night, May. All right, Greg, what's up? Hey, hey, hey! Yo, yo, yo! How are your shins? Uh, they're fine, I jumped off a second story fire escape all the time. No, actually, they hurt like balls. So anyway, did you find what you were looking for? Uh, dude, I think he found us. The janitor that was working on the historical robot guy? Gregor? Listen, I know janitors exist, so that means there's like a zillion percent more chance that a janitor and not a ghost. I felt it, dude. I'm asking Angus if that could happen. Oh god, now we wait for Angus. He's not answering. Yeah, he's not messaging me either. Maybe it's Angus this whole time. He's the one behind it. All right, I'm gonna get some sleep. Thanks for coming with me tonight. Crimes, dude, crimes. Crimes, yay, and then obligatory, uh, circle. All right, well, that's gonna wrap it up for this episode, and then we're gonna go to bed and have a crazy dream in the morning, and then we're gonna go to the graveyard and see what's going on with Bay. Um, but yeah, thank you guys all for watching. I enjoyed this very much. Um, I believe it's a ghost. I don't know if you guys believe it's a ghost. Okay, it's really not a ghost. It's probably some crazy, crazy motherfucker dressed up kidnapping people f with some strange vendetta from hundreds of years ago because his great-grandfather died or something like that. That's my theory. Scooby-Doo villain plot. They're going to rip off the mask and it's going to be Angus <laughs> um, or Molly the cop aunt. Um, but yeah, so anyways... Thank you guys all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Other than that, I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I will catch you all in my next video. Later.